hey guys welcome back to my channel um so today i thought i'd do something different and make this sort of podcast i guess i'm not really sure if it'll be considered a podcast but i'm gonna call it that i think um yeah so i've seen a lot of these videos online like i watched lily kate makes um heather and hops knitting traditions and to be honest i was like would anyone be interested in watching just like me talk about knitting or anyone just talk about knitting and stuff but i was doing it as i was knitting and i was like oh okay this is like pretty cool so i thought i would do that um i didn't think anyone would be interested like i don't know if anyone will be interested in just listening to me talk for the next half hour or hour or whatever i can go off on a tangent so i think that's why i was a bit like mm. But also, um, it's been like quite busy the last few weeks, so I haven't, I wanted to make a video that was really quick to edit as well, and um, that wouldn't take a lot, a lot of my time, so that's why I'm going to do this. Plus I have some like finished objects and like, I have a lot of thoughts about my knitting as well, and I've been telling my husband this stuff, but... He listens, but like, I love him, he listens, but he's like, maybe you should put this in like a, a video and people will like respond to you. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, so I, um, <laughs> it's so hard being yourself, like, I don't know, okay. I mean, so I'm an actor, so I, I can, like, being in front of the camera I doesn't like, does not bother me, I don't really care. But when you have to be yourself in front of the camera, when it gets to the parts um, in like auditions or whatever where they're like, tell me about yourself and you're just like, uh, what, what? It's like, it's like that. Um, anyway, stop being weird. So, this will be a very unedited version. I, it, it's going to be a lot of me going like, talking slowly because I'm thinking. Um, um, I'm going to say um a lot, um, so yeah, forgive me, but yeah, I think it would be really cool, we could be like, we're just like chatting and chilling right now, alright, let's just get into it. So I've got my list here of stuff, so hopefully I don't go off topic, um, when I speak, so I am going to talk about a few things today, I'm going to talk about uh, an upcoming pattern I have that is it should be at the end of its testing now so it will be released next week hopefully I just need to get it checked once more and then it can be released but I've got it here and I can show you guys also got that um, I've got a few finished objects as well and then works in progress and then some yarn as well that I have here so we'll get into it i think um the first thing i'm going to speak about is my new pattern so this is my margot cardigan which i think i showed you guys in another video as well the one about all the projects i have and stuff um, this was completed then but it's been in testing for about two months now so it's it's coming to the end of its testing but this is basically it. Actually, I want to show you, I've got like a drawing up here I want to show you guys. Please ignore my red pants, I, whatever. They're like my chill at home pants. Because right now we're chilling. So this was like my first inspiration. I drew up a thing for it to obviously just um, for myself to see so that I could like get an idea of it so I have that and then this was the little sample I did the yarn I ended up using was the Mil Milamia or Milamia yarn it is a beautiful soft Aran weight yarn um, and I got it from Lovecrafts and it's one of those um, what is it? It's, it was in one of those like packs. Sometimes like Lovecraft have those like 10 packs you can buy. And I was just like, I'll just get one of those. 
And um, yeah, that's the yarn there. And this is just the sample swatch I did and I did it stuck in it. And then I was practicing the edging. Um, that's a crocheted edge because I wanted a crocheted edge on my piece, which I'll show you guys. But yeah, so that is that. I'm gonna put it down here. And then yeah, that was the final piece for it as well and it's it's a long piece so it's meant to sort of sit like down to your um just below your what is it your like butt or like your hips maybe yeah down to more towards your hips um yeah so i went for the this is meant to have like a sort of beachy um like you wear it over legging sort of feeling like you're just out for like walking your dog or I don't know, I imagine this like going along the beach like in LA or something like along Venice Beach or even in Australia just walking along the beach and chilling and eating ice cream and hopefully like you don't get ice cream on here but the, um, what should I talk about first? So the inspiration for it was I actually saw this on uh, my favourite Australian actress Margot Robbie which is why I named it the Margot Cardigan and she did the um, this like 73 questions with Vogue video or whatever and I saw her wearing something like this but it was like Chanel, a Chanel piece and I was like ooh that's expensive and I just couldn't find it but I watched the video and I was like I have to have something like this because then maybe I can be like Margot Robbie haha <laughs> no but yeah so it was definitely go check out that video like you can just google it literally 73 questions with Margot Robbie whatever um yeah but this is the basically the design I came up with so it's not like exact but the shaping of it is the same I I made this a raglan top down knit it is so you start at the top and then you work all the way down um, it's very open in the arms here, in like the arm holes. So when you wear it, it does have like a bit more arm holiness to it. I don't know. Maybe I should just try, I, I might just try this on and then you guys can see and that'd be a lot easier. I'm going to do this off camera. So um, I hope there's no reflections because you're about to get a show of nothing really. But, yeah, I thought um, this was like a really, I don't know, I just really fell in love with it when I saw it and I became like obsessed with it. So I kind of just had to do it. Just dropped a little something here. So this is it here. And yeah, so it's got this edging here. So it's worked top down. Um, the raglan design I just made myself I um, just came up with the design I saw a video on YouTube that had like different regular designs I'm like oh, I kind of like this and then I adjusted it a bit so it suited my design a lot more um, and that's what I mean by a bit holy so I think I might have to do with the weight of this yarn because it's an Aran weight yarn I think it was it made it a bit heavier and I think when after I blocked it it made it sort of come down like it's a bit more weighty than I think I would like and it did stretch a bit I think after I blocked it um, yeah I think it ends up stretching out a little bit after blocking so yeah but top down the raglan I did I just made my own design for it and then the button band I wanted like an invisible style sort of button band so the button band is actually worked um, like double I'm super show sure you guys it's worked double and you can I haven't weaved that in <laughs> and you can see like um, you seam it down on the inside and then the outside it kind of looks like that and I wanted it to have like kind of almost seamless look there and then there's a detailing here along the 
edge there, which I think is really cute. This I made up as well. This is just using a variety of twisted stitches and um, braids, which I also made up. And I thought it would um, sort of match like this raglan style and I don't know, have like the same design. And then I added it also down here to my, to my hem part. And then I've also put it on the pocket here. So yeah, this was like a really um, ambitious project. I've never designed a raglan piece before. So it was really, it was difficult. Like I spent weeks grading this and I couldn't, I really just couldn't figure it out. Like the math of it all. So I went to my take it and I'm like, could you just, I gave her like a pile of just nothing, uh, just crap. And then she came back with like an amazing, well sorted out thing for me because I was like, I don't know. I just, I, just, I sent her crap. So yeah. So I actually quite love it. And then the fringe, I think adds like a really cute little flowy thing. Yeah. Oof. And I went for the gold buttons because um, on the original piece it has gold buttons and I'm like, that's fancy. And that feels very Chanel as well. So that's why I decided to do that. Um, yeah, but that's sort of what I mean by the armholes being a bit holy. Um, one of my testers actually, she seemed in along the edges here. So she seemed um, that part down into the armhole and then you have less of like a gap and same here and then I think um, one of my testers also with the design this like um, twisted stitch design she added it up here so that the neckline came up a bit more as well um, which was really clever I never would have thought of that um, because I think for the neckline some people might not like it but it is made to be the back sits lower and then the front sits low as well and it's meant to sort of be that um, like springy sort of piece maybe spring summer um, sort of piece so yeah I quite I, I do I do love it I do think I want to make this again though um, but a cropped version so the pattern actually does have a long and a cropped version so I think I'll go for, um, I might make another one with a cropped, like it might just stop like here or something. And then it's got all of that design down with the fringe and all that. And I think that'll look really, really cute. So yeah, that's that one. So the yarn I'm thinking of using is a cotton this time. I think I, I showed this in the other video as well, but I'm really not sure yet if I'm going to make it. So usually with my videos, I would have like a cropped version, I mean a, um, no, a video to accompany the pattern as it's released, but I haven't made this and I've been feeling really burnt out, honestly, from making the tutorials and then making sure they're done and then editing them. So I thought I'd do something a little different and with this pattern, I don't think I'll have that coming out with the pattern. I will probably just have the design here like the, uh, I mean, I've got a video on all the different um, design elements that I'll probably post as individual little tutorials and then include them in my pattern and then people can go to those because they're a bit harder to explain. Um, and then maybe eventually I'll get around to making it. I'm sort of like doubting whether or not I want to make it, but I do actually at the same time. So yeah, I'll have to see but I don't want to burn myself out by freaking out and thinking oh shit I've got like a week to film this and edit this and make this and all that stuff and yeah it's becoming a little bit more like I, I need I'm feeling like a bit burnt out by the whole thing so yeah but yeah that's so this is the Margo cardigan I'm going to change out of this now because it's a bit cold today and I don't know if you guys heard the heater turn on now but it's a good it's like a very gloomy day today and like, I don't know. I've got my lights on, like my, I put my studio lights on and stuff because today is really gloomy. 
I was going to film this yesterday, but it was like beautiful sunlight coming in, but um, I didn't have time to do it, so. Alright, so next is, I'm going to have a coffee. Next is my, is this one. This is my zipper sweater by Petite Knit. I am claiming this as a finished object, even though you can see it's not seamed in everywhere. But, and also it doesn't have the zipper, but I can't find a zipper here, like for in the size I want and the, the type I want. The zip I want is like a brass, kind of like a, um, like a bronzy sort of colour. I think that'll work really, really nicely with this sort of colour because I didn't want, I was thinking of like gold or something, but I don't know if I wanted it to stand out and I don't really know if I want the zip, the, the actual zip thing to be like grey or white, like which would blend in more, I'm not quite sure yet. So yeah, if you guys have suggestions, let me know. But yeah, this is the zipper sweater and this is made with We Are Knitters Merino Wool. It is, no, what is it? It's called the Merry Wool. It is the most divine yarn in the world. It's so soft. Um, I've got some here. So it's this one here. And this is the grey I use. I think it's called... It doesn't say. Just grey. Oh, no, it doesn't say. Oh, spotted grey is what it's called. Um, and it is so beautiful and soft. And it's got... It's a single ply. And it's also a super wash, it says. It says that it's a super wash yarn. So it's coated with something that means you can throw it in the washing machine. But it feels like one of those... It's like fluffy as well. And it feels like one of those yarns that you just, um, you can't really wash in the wash, but it says it's super wash, so I assume it is. Um, yeah, so I actually went with this coloured um, spotted yarn for the top part of the neck, and then I also put it on the hem and the arms here and it was really I did it because I already had this yarn so I just ended up buying the grey in order to like match it I was thinking of doing white like going for white and then it could be like spotted up the top and then ivory but then I've just figured white isn't really like a safe option for someone like me so I went with grey and I, I love grey like grey is my grey looks good-ish on me. I think you can hear, I don't know if you can hear the birds. Um, grey looks good-ish on me as a colour, so I don't mind it. And this grey was really lovely, like the light colour is really nice as well. And yeah, it is incredibly soft. It's, it overall like the knit, it's not super heavy, like because it's like a sweater and it's chunky, you kind of do want it to be weighted a bit, but it's not super heavy, I don't think. I tried it on and it didn't feel super heavy. Um, yeah, working this was actually quite fun. Um, it is pretty time consuming. Like it's a, I think it's a Aran weight? No. Yeah, it's about like a worsted weight Aran weight yarn, which I think is what the pattern calls for as well. But I just, um, yeah, it did take ages to do this, um, to work it, but I did make a few changes. I thought the overall um, ease of it was really, really big, so I just didn't want to, um, I didn't want it that big. Like, the ease was a good couple of, um, ten, no, four, six, eight inches of ease or something. I don't really remember. It was so big, so I adjusted it a bit in the raglan, and I made it less in the raglan. And then I think the sleeves were pretty much the same. The sleeves aren't meant to actually come in like that. I think they're meant to be just like one thing, and it's sort of a tapered sleeve. But 
I did decrease a few more at the sleeves so it came in a little bit more. Um, that was just a personal preference. And then the, what is it? And then the Italian bind off as well. And I did an Italian cast off like it says in the pattern and it, it's my first time doing it and I thought it was really, really cool. Like it was kind of fun to do. It leaves like a nice little like wavy sort of edge for that. And then I did that for down here and then also this side as well. Um, but yeah, overall I'm really happy with it and I actually can't wait to wear it out. I just got to add the zip in, which I'm a little afraid of. I was hoping to do the zipper earlier in the piece. I think that's why I left it for so long. I was going to do the zipper, see how it all looked and then like, and like it, maybe like not do it. But I've ended up finishing it anyway, because yeah, we just can't find a zipper. Like when I go to my local craft store, there's just no zippers that I like. So I might have to order it online. I'll have to see. But yeah, I'm quite I'm quite happy with it. And yeah, I think that's like really cool. And the Mer the Mary Wool by We Are Knitters is quite pricey as well. It is a luxurious thing to purchase. But I figure if I'm making something for myself, I may as well just make it as nice as I want because it's for me. So, yeah, and like you just appreciate it more as well, I think. So I think that's like a really nice thing. Um, on the topic of the zipper sweater, I do, I am actually making his and hers zipper sweaters. So this one is for the husband who I have, I, I haven't gotten as far in his, uh, that I haven't gotten as far in his piece yet. Um, he didn't want his with a lot of ease either. I think he wanted it to be a bit more fitted. So yeah, I did start on the arms here, but the arms ended up being way too big. So I had to cut back on it. I had to cut back in the yarn a bit here and I'm going to undo that and then redo the arms. And I'm kind of hoping I have enough yarn for this. The yarn I'm using for his is a Cascade um, yarn, there, there's so much fur on this. It's a Cascade yarn in a, well, I think the colour was a Porto, I don't remember, but it's like this really rich, beautiful blue, like a deep blue, rich blue colour, really nice. and. Um, it's not as soft. This is plied. You guys can see like it's got plies on it. I don't really know if you can sort of see. But um, yeah, it's really, it, it is soft. But not as soft as my one. But it's soft for him. Like like when he puts it on, he's like, oh, it's really, really nice. Um, for his as well, he wanted like a little detailing up the top here, which was really cute. And um, this detailing at the top, I'm using the Merry Wool from We Are Knitters. So I got this yellow one um, to use the Merry Wool. I would have loved to have made his in the Merry Wool as well, but it didn't have the colour he wanted. He wanted like the forest green, which was out of stock. Um, but it recently came back into stock, so I could probably still get it, but we, were, we already got this, so... I'm going to do that and finish that and then we can go out and be like matching in our zipper sweaters. I don't know. That's if anyone cares. Uh, I'm going to move this off. All right. So my next finished object is actually this cardigan. I've already posted it on Instagram so I thought I would put it up here. This is actually my next design that I'm working on and it is this cabled cardigan here and it is made with a beautiful um, baby alpaca yarn and baby alpaca yarn is actually my favorite yarn to work with because it is so beautiful and soft and lightweight. You can see here I'm wearing it right now on this cardigan which I made which is also my own design, the Armona cardigan. I'm just putting that out there. 
and I also have a video DIY as well if you want to see that. Um, but <laughs> marketing, I'm a bit weird, so uh, just, sorry, you guys. Uh, sorry if I made anyone uncomfortable just then. So this is the what is it? The yeah, the the latest cardigan I made. So I wanted a cardigan that was oversized and um, cropped, and but I wanted it to have like some sort of detailing as well. So I went for this cable that I'd seen a lot of cable cardigans out there. Like there's a popular one that Kendall Jenner wears, and then there's one that someone else wears. I don't know, there's just a lot out there and I really liked the cable cardigan and I do like working with cables as well. Um, I would one day like to make like a full cabled top thing, but right now I write patterns that are, are just easier for like more ad like advanced beginner, intermediate knitters. So yeah, this is the cable cardigan I decided to work on. And I just finished it and I'm actually going to be looking for testers or sending out the email for testers in the next week by the end of this week. So if you're watching this video today, by today. Um, yeah, so this is, I use the Wool and the Gang, what's it called? Wool and the Gang Feeling Good Yarn, which I'll show you guys here. And again, it's Baby Alpaca. This is a beautiful, like, mineral pink colour. So nice. And it worked out, like, how I imagined. I was a bit worried about, um, like, using yarn like this, the cable sort of just blending in too much. That's why, that's how I came up with the idea to make it different coloured cable. Because I was thinking, like, okay, if I make this cable and then it sort of, like, you might not be able to see it, like it might not be so obvious, especially with this type of yarn. Maybe a more blocked piece, you'd be able to see it, but I just, I was just sort of thinking that. And then I decided to add in this pink part, which is um, this Jed Diffra yarn here, and it's all pink there. Um, this is also Baby Alpaca. I think this weight is slightly more worsted and this is more Aran, but on the actual piece it is not as obvious that it is different, like it was um, the same enough. The reason why I use this pink and not like another one from Wool and the Gang is because I just had it on hand and it didn't take up that much yarn either, so I've still got, obviously you just saw uh, ball of yarn left so yeah that's the piece I should show you the back that and it goes down the back as well so this piece I actually worked um, a lot different to my other pieces I won't go into too much detail because I actually did film a whole video or like I filmed the process of working it and I'm gonna make a separate video for that talking about the um, design and how it's worked in the construction of it. So um, I'll probably do that closer to when the pattern's released so that you guys can see that and get an idea of it. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a piece I've been working on for the last two or three weeks. And that's been really, really lovely as well. It's like so, so nice. Um, oh, also for this as well, I'm probably gonna make another one because Somewhere along the way, I my gauge changed, so it ended up being a lot smaller on me than originally intended. Like, it, it's not too small, but it doesn't have, it's not oversized. It actually sits probably pretty fitted, which isn't really what I wanted. And that's only in the body. I think the sleeves are okay. Like, the sleeves are pretty oversized, but then the body sits um, a bit more, like tighter than I'd like so I yeah I'm not quite sure what happened like somewhere the gauge changed a bit but I I haven't blocked this yet so I'm gonna block it see if I can stretch it out a bit and get it um, get the body like stretching and then I can 
maybe have it a bit more like oversized or I'll just wear it without buttoning it up so that it's always like open. Um, okay, so if it's changed a bit, it's because my camera actually just stopped recording. So um, it was alright, stopped at like a proper point. But I was talking for the, I was talking to the camera for like the longest time about nothing. So I was actually saying that I have like um, this yarn left over from my cable cardigan, and then these left over from my zipper sweater. And um, I only have like one or two balls or something of it left, and I don't actually know what to make with them. So if you guys have suggestions, let me know below. I was I, I was thinking like maybe like a top or something. I think that'd be really really nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's I want to like use these yarns up. I'm trying to use the yarns in my stash so that I'm not just left with like one or two of yarns. And yeah, I don't know. All right, so those are my like finished. Sort of objects. This is a work in progress that I have. So this was like a cardigan that I was working on and I haven't really made much progress I don't think maybe in a month. So originally <clears throat> I was actually gonna make this cardigan a um, in my other video I mentioned I was gonna make this like a Norwegian style cardigan if that makes sense so it'll have like I was gonna do a design at the bottom here so the bottom was gonna have like a little cute little design sort of like what you see in those Norwegian sweater things and then up here I was actually gonna do embroidery so I wasn't gonna do like a fancy just I was just gonna embroider the top here and then have like a cute design down here but like since I started making it I was going to go ahead and do that design thing down the bottom. So I attached it and then I was about to do it. But then I realized the design I was going to do was like those little, just little love hearts, really simple, like little love hearts, which are just little knit stitches all the way around. But then I realized because I'm working at top down, it wouldn't be love hearts. They'd be like upside down. And it's such a small thing, but I was just like, ah, oh, no, I'm not. I didn't really like that idea so I just sort of kept knitting without adding anything in and um, yeah this is actually by the way I should mention is the novice cardigan or something yeah novice cardigan by Petite Knit so it's not exactly that I just um, adjusted the pattern a bit to because I wanted the circular yoke to make the designs on but then um yeah i have made one i'll show you guys and you've probably seen me wearing it in other um videos as well this is my uh where is it my petite knit cardigan there and this is in a in the same yarn as this one. This is a Willow and Lark yarn, which I actually have. I'll get it for you guys as well. I'm so unprepared, guys. My bad. So it's this Willow and Lark yarn. This was from Lovecrafts, and I got this in the yellow. It is merino wool and camel hair and acrylic microfiber. Not really choices I would choose not really no not really yarn I would always choose but it was on sale and I just decided it was in like a 10 pack it was cheap so I thought I'd give it a go and I could I was like I could just make myself something with it um yeah so so this is the I've already like made one up obviously but it's actually quite large on me. That's the extra small size and it still sits quite large. Like it sits, um, the neckline sits like around like that. So this one I had to adjust. I adjusted it a bit and you can see it sort of sits a bit more in. Um, and I changed the ribbing as well to like a two by two ribbing. So yeah, originally this was going to be like a whole thing with, the design but then I just sort of gave up on it 
and now I don't really know where I'm going with it and I've just got it on my needles and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I did have an idea of making it because I want this to be like a spring sort of knit so I'm not quite sure what I can do with it. Um, I'm just thinking I'm maybe just working it down like another um, novice cardigan but then I'm wondering if I should just reuse this yarn into something else. So far this is used um, I think two balls of yarn like that's at the end of the thing there I think that's why I stopped. This is used about two balls. I'm not sure I have to see where I've we like joined it yeah so that's pretty good and then I probably need another two balls to make to make it down down and then maybe one ball each for a sleeve I'm not quite sure but yeah I don't have as much passion for this one yeah I just because I don't have an idea for it um maybe if I come up with something I can definitely do it. I do have like an idea but I don't want to use this particular yarn for it like I'm just thinking of maybe even using this yarn for like undoing the cardigan and making like a top or I don't know something spring or summer like something light because it's a DK weight yarn so it could it could be used as like a something else. I've been really into dresses, maybe a dress, but then um, it is a bit weighty. Like this cardigan's quite weighted to me. So I don't know if it would do that well as a dress. Maybe I'll continue on with the cardigan and then see what I come up with or it can just be another cardigan that fits better than the other novice cardigan. I don't know. That's yeah. I don't know if like I, I'm sure other knitters have felt this where you've just like sort of been like uh, lost a bit of passion for the project so yeah um so now I'm gonna bring I'm gonna go into some what do I have here so I don't go off topic blah blah, blah. um so I am going to now go into these yarns that I've got here so, I was actually gifted this yarn from Hobby, e -e -e. Hobby, I don't know how to pronounce their name, but um, yeah, I was gifted these yarns from Hobby and they are just, it is Baby Alpaca again, which is my favourite when they said, do you want to use this? I was like, yes, I do. So I ordered this yarn in this beautiful blue. This is the powder blue, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm going to try and find a name. But it is made with baby alpaca, um, polyamide, and wool. And let me see if I can find the name of it. Nope. But I'm pretty sure it was like a powder blue or something on the website. Oh, I dropped one. And yeah, I I got this because I was thinking I don't really know what I was thinking. <coughs> Excuse me, I think I got some fluff <coughs> from the yarn, or maybe from my dust. Whew. Um, I so what was I talking about? Baby alpaca, getting it. I was gonna get baby alpaca. Yeah, I don't. I didn't really have a plan for this, so I decided to just get the whole lot. I was thinking I'm making like maybe one of those vests like a long vest and you can wear it over like shirts or something I don't know, like like a v-neck vest maybe but since I was thinking maybe because my cable cardigan I everything's dropping here my cable cardigan since that was the wrong gauge maybe I can make it with this um, and do another sample for myself um, this time one color or maybe I can like mix it with the pink or something but I don't really want like two pink two cardigans with like a pink um, cable or something so I was thinking of maybe doing this one color uh, and then seeing how it works with one color because my pattern will actually have it for you can do two colors or one color so yeah I was thinking that 
Um, but I have more yarn than I need for it. So then I don't know what I'd do with the rest of the yarn. That's like my thinking. So I didn't want to, yeah, I just haven't started that yet. But maybe I will um, send help. I don't know. I don't know. So I've got, um, I think, eight, about eight balls of these. And I think... I would probably need um, two, oh, three or four balls. So then what do I do with the leftover balls of yarn? Oh. First world problems. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then I have, I'm just gonna have some coffee. And then I have this lovely Peruvian wool. This was also gifted to me by Hobby. Um, Peruvian Highland wool from, from them. And it is a Peruvian wool, as it says. Um, this is like a, what weight would this be? Maybe DK, maybe sport weight. It's quite light. Um, it's not super soft not like the softest i don't think i don't know if i'd wear this against my skin i do have very sensitive skin though so uh, the plan for this is to make like a um maybe like an autumn sort of piece i do have a piece in mind that might end up being a design so i don't want to say too much but i bought like i've got about 10 in this color and this is like the green Trying to see if I can see the name on it. Uh, uh, no. It was like the greenish colour. It was like mint maybe or sage or well, like it was in the green category. So I got that. And then I got this to make mittens for the husband as well in a beautiful like foresty green. But it has like a slight like colour you change to it, like maybe spotted sort of thing to it. I don't really know, but I think it's really, really nice. And um, yeah, he requested some like mittens. So if anyone has any patterns that I could use like this, this yarn for, the gauge here is 22 to 24 stitches. So yeah, if anyone has pattern recommendations, definitely hit me up, let me know so I can make this for him. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful color as well. And this was like also a green, I don't remember the color, foresty green, it was like a dark green sort of color. So the idea I had in mind for that yarn was, I've got it here somewhere. Up oh, here, I made a little sample in that, in the lighter green. And this is a fisherman's rib. Um, I haven't done Fisherman's Rib for a very long time, but yeah, this, I was just practicing like my increases on it as well because I wanted to see if that would work and it kind of does. I think that side looks better. Um, yeah, but then there's like a little hole here when you do your increase. I don't know if that's a normal thing or if there's a way to cover that up. I don't, I don't like the hole, but i I like the stitch I think I'm going to use this stitch for the idea I had in mind so that is that or that um yeah so that's I think what I plan on making with it and I think it'll look nice because it's a lightweight yarn the stitching will really um sort of pop out how I imagined but also I think it has really nice stitch definition as well I'm actually not really good at knowing whether or not something has nice stitch definition but I think it does like it's kind of nice anyway I'm gonna stop talking about things I don't know I've got that um yeah and that's the yarn I've acquired recently. Um, I've also recently gotten a whole lot of cotton yarns, but I'm actually planning on doing a whole video for that 
like a separate video on just reviewing the cotton yarns. They are mostly from Wool in the Gang, We Are Knitters and also some online like Rowan yarns and some drops stuff which I've never tried before and it was really cheap so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, yeah, so that's... I've got that as well so if you guys are interested in seeing or seeing that video let me know. Um, yeah, so that is I think pretty much everything that I've got here today and I wanted to do a bit of like a sit and knit thing, maybe sit and chill thing um, with you guys and um, go through maybe for like 10 minutes or so. And I actually went through, I don't have anything to, uh, I can knit that, no. You know what I might do? I might seam this up because then I won't seam it ever. So a sit and seam with me. But I do have questions on Instagram. I did ask a few weeks ago what you guys wanted to see, what sort of videos you guys were interested in, what, um, yeah, what you sort of liked to see and watch. Before I started my YouTube channel, I actually didn't really consume YouTube that much. So it, it's been like quite a learning curve trying to figure out what people like, what people don't like, what works, what doesn't work. So um, yeah, I, let me see if I can find this thing. I am lost on my phone. So there were some questions that you guys, I asked you guys if you had questions for me as well. Um, and yeah, as well as what you wanted to see. So some of the things were, I thought I could answer some of them. Uh, one was how to make a sweater without sleeves. I think I answered that. I think that's just a vest. Um, Ash, which is my little puppy. Um, she's not in here. Usually I don't have her around when I'm filming just because um, she squeaks. Like she makes a lot of noise sometimes. Um, sometimes she does chill, but not all the time. Yarn reviews, which like I hope to do. Like I plan on doing that cotton one and then I did a few here which I'll put in the description, I guess, if people are searching for it. Um, things you wish you knew when you started knitting. Um, I, honestly, I don't know. Like, um, whenever I just wanted to know something, I would just look it up. Like, I would just research it. There wasn't one definitive thing that I ever thought to myself, like, God, I wish I'd known this, like, before I started knitting. Or, you know what? I what would be is um, different types of needles I think would have been good. So I used bamboo needles for so long. I was like, bamboo needles are the best. They're like, they look really cool. I don't know. I didn't realize that different needles helped with different things. So I used bamboo needles for everything. And sometimes the yarn would just not work on it. And I'm like, why is this not working? I'm like, my knitting sucks. And then I realized it was the type of needle um, since I got interchangeable needles, I'm pointing up here my, ugh, since I got my interchangeable needles, um, from Knitter's Pride, it is like amazing. These are the wooden ginger, like I still love wooden needles, but I've heard like steel is really good as well and yeah, so I guess that's the answer to the question is needles would have been really good to know. Maths involved in knitting, um, that one's a really great one. I have like an idea for a whole video to do like an uh, entire um, like design process, like some people will be interested in it. I know I was really interested in it when I first started designing but I could not find a thing. It was like drips and drabs everywhere so I, in my head I want to make an entire video about um, the design process, not, not necessarily just grading. I'm not confident enough to show anyone how to grade anything, but definitely that would be part of it as well, where I could show you like a little bit and be like, oh, this is like a little bit of how you like do this or that or whatever. Um, so yeah, if that's interesting, then yeah, let me know. Uh, feature some of your favorite designers. I think that'd be awesome. Um, I'd have to knit more of their stuff or even just like, yeah, look up more of their like patterns and stuff. Um, how do you pick out which patterns to do and which yarns to use? Um, that's a really great one actually, like picking out what to do. Sometimes, like at the moment I'm sort of picking out what to do in terms of 
how to clear my stash. Like I'm trying to stash bust my yarn. Stash busting. Yeah, I'm stash busting my yarn. So that's like a thing I'm sort of trying to do. Like that. sometimes that's how I pick my yarn. And then other times it's like I have an idea and I have to get specific yarn for it as well. So it, it changes. Um, but yeah, that could definitely be like something I could go more into detail about. Um, did you finish the boxy cardigan tutorial? I have not. I haven't even started it. Uh, that's actually next on my list um, to do the boxy cardigan, which I made. It's all the way over there, but I won't grab it. But you can um, see my patterns and stuff on Ravelry and Etsy. But it's, yeah, one of my most popular patterns, which is actually amazing. Um, I remember when I did it, I didn't love it that much, but I'll get into that into the video when I do make one. I do, I am going to make that up with a beautiful um, yarn. I, actually, I've got a sample here. With this cotton yarn. Um, the last one I did was also cotton. It was like a recycled sort of cotton. And then I just, um, I got this to make the next one. It's like a little spotted thing. And it's got like little pink spot and it's so so beautiful and it's so soft and this is from wool and the gang it's their shiny happy cotton i don't know how shiny it is though but i think it does have like a slight sheen may i hold it to the light it's got like a slight sheen but yeah so that's definitely something i want to do my other hobbies oh boy um i really just knit a lot I a lot, I watch a lot of TV, is that a hobby? Acting is another, it's not a hobby, it's like my career choice, but I guess it could be a hobby. Um, I also do, in a past life I did like jewellery making. Actually, last night I just made this necklace because I'd seen all these other necklaces online and um, I'm going to sneeze. Here I go. <sighs> Um, I'd seen a necklace similar online. It was um, a daisy necklace and it was like this. Um, the only thing was that it was like gold plated, which I didn't want. I wanted like gold filled at least. Um, I don't think I could go full gold in like jewelry like this because I'd lose it. I'm so terrible at that. So this is, um, I'll come a bit closer so you guys can see. Yeah, I may, I'll point it towards the light. Yeah, because I've been obsessed with everything like daisy, like I want to embroider daisy stuff. I have like a daisy pattern coming up. Um, daisy, I, I don't know if these are daisies, but they're flowers. But um, yeah, I enjoy like making jewellery for myself. Um, yeah, jewellery, um, drawing, I don't, I don't, that's not even a thing. I don't know why I said that. Drawing like my sketches, like when I come up with an idea and I can sketch it, I think that's pretty cool. But that's not like a hobby. It's not like I go in my spare time and do it. Um, I like trying different crafts. Like I've got some of that air dry clay I want to try. Um, what else? I would say gardening, but not in the past few months because it's been winter and I have not checked on the plants outside. But I think they're thriving. I think they're fine. Um, yeah. Yeah. Lots of other stuff, I'm sure. Uh, can you do a tutorial on how to make a cardigan for beginners? I can definitely try. A lot of my patterns are maybe more advanced beginners, so I don't know. Um, interested in long form content project diaries, stuff I can chill and knit to. So that one was the one that really inspired this video and I didn't think people would be interested in this, so um, if you've stuck around this long, thank you so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would like to do more of these, like especially when I finish something or if I've worked something up a bit more and I can talk about it a bit more. Um, even with my patterns, like my own designs, I would like to maybe change um how i do those videos a bit more and talk more about the design behind it i didn't know if anyone would be interested in it but yeah maybe talking more about what design how i got to a certain process why i chose to do some certain things blah blah, blah. like for my um for this cardigan one i want to talk about like my thoughts behind why I designed it the way I did, um, along with like showing like the process of making it. Um, 
as like the tutorial guide for the pattern but um, I'll have to see how I end up doing that. Um, okay, what else was there? Uh, Q&A non-knitting related? I'd be up for that. Maybe I'd do that on Instagram or something. Um, I could also do it on YouTube, maybe. I don't know. How do you store your yarn? I can't seem to do it in a tidy way. Uh, same. So, right now my yarn storage is actually, I'm looking at it, it's right behind this camera. It is terrible. I don't have room, so everything's on the floor. But I did, when I did sort it, I do have a video on it. When I did sort it, I did it by um, type. I actually asked on Instagram and people said to do it by type of yarn. So all my cottons are together, all my like baby alpacas are together and it, um, yeah, and you put it in there and then you sort it by colour in there, I guess. Um, it sort of worked for me, um, so yeah, you can definitely try that. Out! So, I think I have been rambling on for a really long time now and if you guys have stuck around this far, thank you so much. Uh, I didn't even get around to like doing this stuff, but I think I might just end the video here so that you guys can like carry on and um, do other stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much. If you do enjoy these types of videos, definitely let me know down below in the comments and I could definitely make more of them. I actually really enjoy this, like sitting and talking about all of my anything stuff and then hopefully it motivates me to like actually get stuff done so that I'm just like doing it and then I can be like oh I should get this done for a podcast oh, oh, whatever but anyway thank you so much and I will see you guys next time